Hello, Gemini. Getting ready to do your reading. Let's see what is going on for you guys. Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. All right. I always like to look at your last reading, even though this one may not be the same situation or person. Okay. All right. What is coming in for Gemini? What do they need to know? Someone from the past may definitely be looking at you right now, looking at your um, Instagram or looking online at you. If you go out a lot with your friends and post pictures of, you know, drinking or partying or having fun, they are definitely paying attention. It looks like they maybe they want to come visit you. Okay. Yeah, they want to come see you and talk to you. And this is somebody you do know. Well, obviously. Did I say that? I'm just saying, I don't know if it's an ex. I just get, oh, but you may not like them. Okay. No wonder. Okay, that makes sense. This person may be a little obsessed with you in your online posts and looking at you. Um, it, it might be an ex. It's somebody you do know. Ace of Swords tells me they want another beginning or chance with you. They've just been looking at you a lot lately. I don't think you care. It might be an earth sign who's trying to decide if they should. I get cozy back up to you, but I don't think you're going to have anything to do with them. Okay. What is the overall energy? Eight of Wands, communication, messages, moving forward. Five of Wands just fell out with that. Judgment. Oh my goodness. Maybe that is what's going to come in. I saw everything. But we'll see. Because Five of Wands, competition, but I think in this case it's arguing. All right, let's see what's happening here. What is going on for Gemini with the Judgment card? You got the Chariot, yeah. Two of Cups. Somebody wants to come in with a big proposal for you. So again, it's this person who's been watching you online, looking at your stuff. Um, they're going to come in big with a big offer. What I'm seeing here was the Six of Cups. Six of Coins, Six of Swords, Six of Cups again. Okay. I'm not sure. I think if, I'm not sure this person breadcrumbed you in the past or like there's no way. Again, it might be a f younger fire sign or maybe an earth sign or an earth sign with fire or someone who acted childish or immature. What is the Eight of Wands? Eight of Coins, the Page of Wands, and then the Seven of Cups. They may, you may know this person through work or the gym or whatever. Uh, they may make up some story that they're coming to that to visit because they have a job. They may be saying they have a new job offer. They might have a new job offer. That might be why they're coming towards you, moving towards you or something. But Seven of Cups tells me that they may be lying and making this up. Not in a bow, it just, you know, like, oh, hey, I'm going to be in town because I have an interview. And so, hey, let's meet up for drinks. So why is this all happening? What is the past energy? Okay, the Hierophant. So you guys must have been in some type of relationship. Again, it looks like they want another chance at this. What is the Hierophant, please? Five of Cups, the Eight of Cups, and the Hierophant. Again, this could be a job. Hierophant can be like if you worked in a big corporation or something. But it looks like this person wishes they didn't walk away from you. They regret that they walked away from you. All right, so let's see. Feelings, feelings. What's, what else is going on? Page of Wands, Communication, and the Ace of Wands, A Spark and Chemistry. All right. What is this Page of Wands? Queen of Cups, the Knight of Coins, and the Seven of Wands. They may have been with someone else at the time, maybe a water sign, and they might have a child that has grown up by now. So that might be like that, that part of their life is over and done, and so that's why they're coming back to you. They could also be saying that you are very loving toward them, or nurturing, or sweet, or kind. And they have never moved on from that with these two. Like you've always been like the last really good memory they've had of a relationship or person. What is the Ace of Wands? High Priestess, the Fool, and the Devil. Mm. So you might give this a chance. You might um, think, what the hell? They're sexy. The connection's strong. There's, you know... It could be a Capricorn, but I'm feeling more like, well, why not? There's like, this person was always very, you know, attractive or sexy. It just was, the timing wasn't right. Okay. What is the potential outcome? The devil again. Ace of Cups. Okay. So this is somebody who, this might actually work. I know a lot of people are like, I don't want the past person. So I kind of read it that way, but this might be something that works for you. Five of Coins. The Knight of Cups, the Strength card, and the Four of Cups. I feel you're hesitant with this. 
I feel like it's not that you don't want the Four of Cups, you're just aware. Now the Five of Wands that fell out may mean this person has a lot of competition around them, there's a lot of people who are interested in them, or you do. So, I mean, it's not like you couldn't get somebody else, right? The Four of Cups, I think you have other options or people interested in you, so it's kind of like, I get this kind of feeling of what the hell. Okay, maybe we'll give it a try. Maybe we'll see where this goes. What is the devil over here in this energy? It could be a Leo, obviously, but I think it's more than that. Stuck. Manifesting. Yeah, they may tell you then that they've been a little bit obsessed over you over the years or months. That they haven't been able to get it out of their mind and they really do regret that they walked away. I'm hoping the Seven of Wands didn't block you. I don't know if that would matter, but Seven of Wands, I don't, I don't think so. You would know, obviously, but okay. What what advice can you give me for Gemini? What What is this person thinking or feeling, or what advice can you give us? Three of Wands, Temperance, Take It Slow, Page of Coin, Communication, New Beginning. Okay. Might be a Sagittarius or an Earth sign, but... Take a slow and find out the facts of this person, what they're doing or thinking or who else is in their life at this point. Why? They could be a player or they were. Okay, there's something here about a lot of sexual chemistry between the two of you. Okay, it's come up again because this is like seeing them as really hot or attractive and you're seeing them, they're seeing you as very hot and attractive and jumping into bed as opposed to taking it slow with the Knight of Coins. Why? Is there something else you guys need to know in this situation? Two of Swords, Seven of Wands, the Death card. I mean, this person may have blocked you at one time, and I just feel like that is shitty. And I feel like you were really hurt by them. Like the way they handle the situation towards you, like you really don't like how they did that to you. Possibly though you blocked them and you're the one who called it off though. Knight of Cups, the Seven of Cups, and the Six of Coins. One more for the Six of Coins. Okay, so this might be a relationship that's a bit more of a fantasy than realistic. That maybe is why they're saying take it slow, don't jump in bed, get all the feelings going, endorphins, all that, and then find out that it's just about breadcrumbs and drinking and having fun. Okay, because Knight of Cups, Seven of Cups, what's in this person's cup? So it's not saying it's a no-go, it's just saying take it slow. That rhymed, okay. So you got Four of Coins, the Two of Coins, and the Sun. Because that's the Eight of Cups and the Ace of Coins to something better. You might leave the past in the past with this particular person, okay? You may be hanging on to the past, something they did, they said the way they, they ended it, you didn't like how they did it. Maybe it was cold turkey, cold, you know, whatever. They blocked you and you just didn't like that they did that. I think the two of you could be happy with the sun, but you may need to leave the past in the past in order to have a new beginning that's more solid and more on... Um, you know, not, not just motions and lust, it's about something that can withstand the future, long term. Because I am getting this person does have strong emotions for you. I feel like they, maybe they've grown up a little bit, they've matured, they really do think about you a lot. There is love there and there is, you know, obviously desire. And so I think if you take it slow, you could actually make this relationship work and not just let the passion and lust take over. I think that might be, that might be the killer. I'm getting also that you will know within, it may take like six months though. If you take it slowly, it may take up to six months to know what you want to do. Because I get for some of you, you may move on, but you're okay. You got other things that could be established with other people, or you may stick it out and this person might be in your life long term. So it kind of depends on what you are wanting. Okay. So I see potential here with this. And again, I feel like the ball will be in your court in this decision with this person. Let me ask them again, though, intentions towards you. Let me get a different deck that's fresh. Okay. Overall feelings this person has for Gemini. Overall feelings or intentions or like their heart. Because they do have the Two of Cups to start the reading out. Two of Cups. This person, because remember the five of wands fell out? I feel like this person was kind of going back and forth. Should they, should they not? This person has a lot of pride and ego. They don't want to look like a failure is what I'm getting. 
They put a lot into their business or money. They think about you a lot though. Page of coin is my looking at a picture, looking at your picture card. They work a lot. They're kind of hardcore though when it comes to work, so they may be kind of like I see them getting refiring people if they need to. Um, this person, okay, this might also be the past energy where they're kind of an asshole, kind of prideful. Um, work was the only thing that was important to them. They may have been stuck in this energy and realized that they need to change. And they needed transformation when they did. Now they think about you and communicating with you. They're worried because I do think they must have blocked you or left you for somebody else or did something that so they're worried about how they treated you. And they do see that they were stuck in a really bad toxic energy that they had to get rid of in order to move forward to be with you again or just to have new love in general. What else, please? I think, again, maybe the Queen of Cups is already here. Now, I'm going to read this as past energy again because it came up already. Because either you were considered the Queen of Cups and you were a third party and they were already married to somebody else. Or they were already with the Queen of Cups when you met each other. Um, this is kind of showing me the same energy of the past. I feel like, again, this may have happened at work. And they were kind of careless and reckless, foolish, and didn't care because they were more about their pleasures. There's definitely, obviously, somebody else in the picture, whether you were the third person or somebody else. And now they're reflecting on the past. Okay, so they do see the error of their ways, but can you show me a little bit more what they feel about Gemini at this point? There you are. They're coming in the Page of Cups, Nine of cups taking it slowly communication you may you may not want their cup they may need to apologize with the five of cups five, ten of coin long term seven of cups wondering where this is going to go like this person was really into their again their money or family money family business their family long term they're going to they're not sure where this could go again seven of cups ace of swords with you but it may be that they want long term with the ten of coins with you they may be very financially established at this point also in their life which is a good thing two of swords the four of swords okay so that's probably here you're making a decision about what to do or they are anything else you can tell us about how this person feels two coins they've been thinking about this a lot They've been thinking about this a lot and they're ready to walk a new path and start over and be happy again, like a fresh start. They have done some inner work. They may have gotten rid of some people in their life. This almost feels like people arguing in a payout. They may need to pay people off in some way, like pay back, maybe pay back. Like make right some wrongs in their past and they do have a new cycle here with the world. I was going to say moon, but world. What else? Anything else? Ten of Cups, the Queen of Wands, the Nine of Coins, the Hierophant, the Wheel of Fortune. Okay, so this person, like I said, has a lot of passion towards you. So something about the two of you still sticks in their mind. And I'm getting they would like to be with you, the Ten of Cups. Okay, so you can see how he's looking over at her and he's seeing something differently. So yeah, this there's probably been like 10, 20 years, maybe even more for some of you has passed from this person. So they are looking you up online, like I saw originally, looking at all your pictures and your friends and seeing what you're doing. Um, this person realizes that they still have these feelings for you. Maybe you're the only one they've ever really shared these feelings with, felt this way about. Uh, I'm getting, obviously, they probably were married to somebody else. I don't think that per person's in the picture whatsoever. I think they're completely gone. So I really, and they may have stayed until like, if, if they had children, they got into college, that type of thing, like some people do. Um, they may have had, like they may have gone against their family possibly with what I saw here, or their family's just after them for money. I think this person is very well established at this point in their life, a lot of money. I think they would like to give that money to you. This would be a relationship where you wouldn't probably have work anymore if you didn't want to, and they would you know, want to spoil you with gifts and that type of things, nine of coins. But again, I think this person is realizing that they've never really been happy, that there's always been this chemistry between the two of you. And again, 
I feel like they may have gotten married and had kids and did, did the Ten of Cups with somebody else, but it doesn't necessarily mean they were necessarily like super happy or in love. It's kind of like what you what people think you need to do: get married, have kids, buy a house, and then you're happy. A lot of people are not. So this could represent the past. I feel like this represents the two of you, like a union the two of you have, like a special bond like that's very sacred in some way. Like this is kind of like the lovers almost in a sense, but there's something that this person sees that's different with you that they haven't had before or they, and they want this back. So, and again, I get this person may say something like, oh yeah, I'm in town for a business meeting. I'm in town for a job. I'm business. And they might be lying, but that doesn't really matter. That's just how they're going to kind of break the ice and come in. Or it could be true. It doesn't really matter. I don't think that part. So you may want to give this person a chance. I do see the chemistry, like I said, is still really, it's really there, but don't get caught up in that. There may be some questions you need to ask. What else do we need to know about this person? What else do we need to know about this person? Mm. Okay, it's going to happen when you least expect it. Sometimes I get that, well, you're not going to expect this person. You're not going to expect this communication. And sometimes you do get the pick card when like, you actually meet the person, like you run into them in person. So that means they've been kind of stalking you, trying to see where you go, what coffee shop, what store, where you live. They may be driving by your home. They're a social butterfly. I think they, part, they go out to parties a lot. They may even entertain quite a bit in their home, or they used to. But again, also I'd get like they're on social media, looking at your social media, anything else? There's past hurt here, yeah. I'm thinking they hurt you in the past. One more please. And this person needs to grow up. I think they grew up. I think when you met them, past hurt and they needed to grow up. Also, they could have been very social, the social butterfly, the person who didn't care about other people, uh, was more about people being you know, being popular, wanting to be popular, wanting people to like them. And that may have been like the seven of wands when they blocked you and like, oh, I have other people. I don't really need you. That type of energy. And they do regret this. And I think they've learned a lot. So educated, maybe educated. So I'm going to leave it here, Gemini. Have a really good week, you guys. And I'll talk to you soon.